Hello again, church. Boy, I wish, you know, as every day I do this, I wish I could see your face. Um, Skype has been good, and once in a while there's a, you know, an interaction. I see somebody um, somewhere, but it'd just be good to have that interaction again. I know here, uh, as of today, this afternoon, and of course, maybe you've already seen this, Evers, Governor Evers extended the... Um, stay at home order until the 26th of May now I know there's from what I understand there's some changes to that as to what he's allowing or not allowing uh, with people attending various things and I'm sure we'll get more details in the days to come here of course that leaves us with some uncertainty always with you know what's going on what do we do what does this mean for our businesses in our area within our county um, for the farmers in our area and across the states there's just a lot of unknowns on our end and it really causes us I think in many ways to question and to ask and rightfully so what's going on uh, that's why I appreciate uh, the reading that we had today in Matthew chapter 8 if you haven't read that already perhaps you just need to pl press pause right now go read that and then continue with the video right now but in Matthew 8 we find some interesting things uh, if you didn't read that I'll just give kind of a quick summary um, it, it reminded me in a bit of the phrase when I was growing up, uh, my dad can beat up your dad. You know, the that one child trying to say, my dad's more powerful than yours. And Jesus kind of comes on the scene here and displays his power and his control over the universe uh, in, the, in this chapter. Uh, we see him display his power over sickness, over disease, over... Uh, evil spiritual powers, the demons themselves, uh, and then even nature, uh, which is chapter 8, verse 27. This is the one that, that hit me this today as I was reading this. The disciples are with him in the boat, and they say this, Who is this man, they've asked? Even the winds and waves obey him. And just a reminder once again, in everything that we're going through, that God is sovereign. Jesus is sovereign over all of this. We may not understand the, the ins and outs of it, we may not understand even what God is doing through this or why he would bring about these things, but we do understand that he is in control and none of this has caught him off guard and that he has a purpose in it. I was reminded of Colossians chapter 1. I remember this, I memorized it when I was back in college uh, in spiritual life class and uh, this was uh, one of the verses that came to mind as I was reading uh, there from Matthew. Verses uh, 16 and 17 of chapter 1. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So what is God doing right now, even in this? Well, we understand that he's in control. We do know that. All right. Um, what he is doing in it, remains to be seen in some respects. We've seen how it has propelled the gospel in some areas, and perhaps that's what's going on right now, is just simply an advancement of the gospel. Uh, and through that, we understand that God has brought glory. And in times like this, and a bit like the video said yesterday, you know, we have to come back to the scriptures. That's our foundation, if you will, reminding us who indeed God is. And from that, that becomes the lens through which we process everything else that's going on. And when we don't have the answers to all the questions, we come back to the scriptures again and say, God, I know this is who you are. You've said this is who you are. Uh, help me to process what's going on right now. Uh, and so we do know that we have to trust that even through these circumstances that God is bringing himself greater glory, uh, using perhaps even these times to turn people to him. Uh, oftentimes in crises, there's this greater spiritual sensitivity, not, not only in, in those who uh, aren't normally a part of churches or aren't normally um, thinking about God, but even in Christians themselves, oftentimes there's a greater spiritual sensitivity. And so we have to be on the lookout of what God is teaching us through this and what he's using this time to even refine us where we're at. So stay strong in the faith. Uh, keep reading. Uh, keep sharing the word. Uh, even more so right now online. There are, there's ample opportunity. People are online every day right now looking for things 
uh, whether it be news or what's going on in the world, use those platforms uh, for your benefit and for the benefit of the gospel uh, to encourage people um, and to uh, just share the gospel message with folks. Uh, minister to one another. Continue to make those phone calls. Use these time to encourage each other in the word. Um, and, of course, be on the lookout for what God is doing. We understand that he is the sovereign creator of the universe, that everything is in his control. This world is in his hand, that he cares for us. Uh, as Matthew said, as the disciples said in Matthew uh, chapter 8, verse 27, even the wind and the waves obey him. Uh, we understand that this time is under his control as well, and that he is using these things in whatever manner to bring himself glory. That's what he always does, and we can trust that. Uh, we just need to be on the lookout for what that is. Hope you're encouraged and challenged today. Uh, until next time, God bless.